hello everybody. I'm just going to wait for my co-host for the afternoon, Danielle Anderson, to jump on board and we're going to get started with our workout. There she is. What about you? Hey. Okay. Hey guys. Um, so my name is Shelly Avery Jones and I work with PSP Edmonton and today is power hour. So I'm hoping that you're going to join me. I'm super excited. It's pretty gloomy outside, but I'm not gloomy at all. So I'm going to bring the energy, bring the motivation and give you guys a good workout today. So I'm hoping you're going to join. I'm going to wait a couple more minutes to make sure that everybody starts to sign up on the live feed here before I get started. But while we're doing that, I'm going to have you grab some equipment today that you're going to need. So there's two things you're going to need today. Um, one of them is something that you can use that you can slide around on in terms of like on the kitchen floor or the living room floor, something that's not carpeted, hardwood floor, like only works best. I have a mat behind me and it's really sticky, so I have to use a tea towel. So if you have a towel, um, any kind of uh, towel or anything that can slide on a slippery surface, we're gonna be using this for core work, for lunges, for all sorts of things, so you're gonna need that. So run and get that. Um, and you're also gonna need today, and I'm hoping you can hear me, because hopefully my microphone is and everything is working. Um, looks like it is. I keep checking the comments as I walk forward. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is a rucksack or backpack. Anything that you can find that you can throw a little bit of weight in there. Now, this is not a force focused class. This is a power hour class. I'm using it as a prop. You're not going to need much weight in it. It's more for just use of a prop just to kind of keep your mind busy as you're working out. It's kind of one of my favorite things to do. So I have 20 pounds in here. It's not a whole heck of a lot of weight, but it's enough to keep it sturdy. And as I'm lifting it up, it gives me a little bit of weight in my arms. So two things you're gonna need, run and grab it. What are they? A towel, a um, piece of floor where you can slide around on, uh, and a rucksack or a backpack with a little bit of weight in it. I shoved the sleeping bag in there as well, so um, it's got a little bit more fullness to it. You're gonna need some water and a towel and music in the background playing. Crank out that music. I uh, want to hear it. I can't hear it, but I'll pretend to hear it. I'll toss it out of my head. And I'm just going to um, teach to, to myself, and hopefully, only you guys are doing this workout too with me. Okay. So, again, Shelly Avery Jones, 3 CPC Edmonton. Here's the class format today we have seven mini workouts for you. And I'm not going to spend much time talking because we're going to get in it, in it right away. Um, the first is going to be with your rucksack, the first exercise out of the three. The second one is going to be with the towel, and the third one is going to be a body weight exercise. We're going to go through each of those three twice, and then bury it. Done. Not to do it again, we're going to do seven of those. So seven mini workouts, I'll be with you all the way, motivating you, trying to get that spirit out of you on this gloomy, rainy day. Hopefully Deborah's there, I know Chris and there's a couple people, Dana's working out with me today, it's awesome. Um, so yeah, so we're going to do that. What did I forget? Oh, uh, I have to read this disclaimer for, uh, for us, so hang on tightly with us, and I'm going to read it out. So in response to COVID-19, PSP is offering virtual fitness classes to CIF members by using social media platforms The virtual fitness classes tailored to CAF members become accessible to all. Participants who are not CAF members recognize and acknowledge that their age, health status, and physical fitness levels are unknown, and it's entirely up to each individual to assess their ability to participate in this class today. Since it is preferable to consult your physician before beginning an exercise program, we invite all participants that are not CAF members to consult the Get Active questionnaire on the Canadian Society of Exercise Physiology and its reference document. If you experience pain or difficulty during this exer the exercise presented today, it's recommended that you stop and consult a healthcare provider. If CAF members sustain an injury during this video, please remember to fill out a CF-98. Okay, so we're set. We got that red, you know who I am, what we're doing, we got our equipment good to go. Um, I've got my timer ready, and so I think we're good. We're gonna dive right in. Um, there's something going on with the internet around lately, so if something happens, Danielle's gonna text me, right Danielle? And let me know, and I, I'm gonna actually put on more than, I have more than one internet, so I've solved the problem that I previously had with um, my internet running out halfway through a video. It's not gonna happen, but if it does happen to happen today, um, hang tight, I'll go on a different internet line, and I'll come back on, all right? All right, so we're ready to go. We're gonna get our warm-up in underway. Grab yourself 
quick drink of water before we get started. Throw your music on. And it's not Friday yet, but cheers anyway. This is only water, trust me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, everybody, so stand back on your space wherever you have it. Okay, and we're just gonna simply just take our legs, squat down and press our hands over our head. We're gonna do everything in eights. Just so you know, you can count them out to yourself. So four, three, two, one. We're gonna take the arms out and you're gonna show me your muscles. Big biceps. Here we go. Four, three, two. Let's do that one more time. Just press it straight up and get a little deeper into the squat. Well, the lungs full of air. Two and one. And again, show me those muscles. Perfect. It's really hard to do this without music. I would love to have some tunes going on. Two more. We're going to punch up in that direction. We're going to punch up and then punch to the floor. Punch it up, punch down to the floor. And again. We're going to do four more of this. This is a little bit of a sequence. I'll make it easy for you. Gradually warm you up. Two more. One more. We're going to bring that left leg in. Punch it up. Bring the left leg in. Again. Left leg in. Just moving your body is going to get you warmed up. Doesn't have to be perfect. Two more. Two. One more. So if you take that back into a curtsy, punch it up. Curtsy back. Punch it up. Curtsy back. Start to feel your mood lighten. Four to go. Four up. And down. Three. Two left. One more. We're going to take that into a squat. We're going to take it down. Curtsy back. Drop low. Curtsy back. Keeping that front foot stationary right there. Four more. In four. Back. Three. We're going to turn this into a plyo. So get ready to jump up on that right leg into a plyo. You don't have to. You can modify it if you like. Whew. And again. Turn the heat off of my garage so we should be nice and cool in here today. Three, two more. The last one, give me a power squat. Take it out, bring it in. Bring it out, bring it in. Again, try to get a little lower each time as you feel yourself warming up. Four, three, two, Stay nice and wide. All right. Take it up. Punch it up. Punch it down. Punch it up. We're going to repeat that whole thing. On the other side. Reach. Try to reach right to the ceiling. Two more. Bring that right leg in. Punch it up. Right leg goes back and in. That's that. Looking good, everybody. Four. And three. And two. And one, curtsy back. Get up. Beautiful. Whew. So your breath quicken up a little bit. In four, three, two. We're gonna take that right leg into a squat. Take it down, curtsy back. It's low, curtsy back. Keeping that left leg planted. Give me four more. Four. Hi, everybody. Three, two to go. One more, we're gonna take that into a power squat. Let's take it down and in. Drop it out, bring it in, get a little lower. It should be a bit more warm now. In four, in three, two, excellent. One, hold it out to the side, hold it here, and just pump it up again. Right from the beginning, arms go straight overhead. Yeah, that's it. Show me your muscles. Get out. And in four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna take a reach up, we're gonna pinwheel down. We're gonna reach up, we're gonna pinwheel down. Tall body, bring it in. Now, that's it. Four, and three, two to go. One more. And we're gonna keep moving, just heel and toe. Heel and toe. Yeah, I can feel my heart rate already going up. Four to go, four, back, three, and two, and one. Now we're just gonna pump the toes here, warm up the shins for our plyos, face front. And we're gonna pinwheel the arms. We're gonna reach up, pinwheel down. Reach up, 
and then down. We get eight of these in a row. Ha! Four. Pin wheel. Three. Two. Doesn't really matter what you're doing. As long as you're warming up, as long as you're moving, your body's getting warm, right? So heel. Up. Back. Four more. Four. Three. Uh-oh. There goes the arms again. Two. And one. Pump the toes. Face forward. Keep going. And back up. Right leg march. We're going to do a pendulum lunge with the right leg. I'll just follow along here. We're going to go front, back, step touch. Front, back, step touch. The Audi special right there. Front, back, step touch. And again, front, back. Now, we're not, we're not going to the floor. We're going to turn the step touch into two jacks. Up. And again, pendulum, back, two jacks. And again, front, back, two jacks. One more front. And we're going to switch to the left leg front. Left leg lead. Front, back, step touch. Front, back, step touch. We're almost done our warm up. Back, step touch. And again, we're going to turn that step touch to two jacks. Go. Front, back, two jacks. And again, front, back, two jacks. Go. Here we are. Here we go. One more. Front, back, step touch. And march it out on the spot. I'm just going to go do two modified slow burpees on the ground. And step it up, back in, all the way down. And back up. And your right foot in, left foot in, stand. Switch the other leg. Back, back, all the way down. Take it up. Left foot in, foot in, stand. Do a nice little squat. Press the elbows, pushing the knees up to the side. Whew, there we are. Right there. And stand up. Give me a deep breath in. Inhale. And exhale. All right. We should be warmed up now. Everybody ready to go? All right. Yeah. Okay. We're going to start with the rock. You're going to put it right to the center of your mat. Grab a fast drink, and I will give you rest throughout this workout. But while you're doing your work, do not stop. Keep moving. It's only 30 seconds. I'll give you a 15-second break. Two sets through, you get a minute break. So then you want to earn that minute break. Now, I'm going to show you the low-impact version first, and then I'll show you the high-impact version after that. So we're going to start with... Burpee, jump over, burpee, jump back. Yeah, we're just gonna get fired up today. Ready in three, two, one. Take it down, modify, all the way lower down. Stand up, step over. Drop down, up, stand up, step over. High impact, remember, it's only 30 seconds. towel. These ones are quick. I don't like to waste my time. All right, sit on down, over the head, touching one foot at a time. Now you're alternating right and left, but the towel is trying to touch the toe without looking like this. All right, if you can't sit up, then you're just going to lift your leg up like that. So remember, there's modifications to everything. You don't have to do what I do. <sighs> Modify as you need it. <sighs> All right, we're going to stand up. Pendulum lunge only on your right leg. Okay, so only on the right leg. Forward, all the way to the ground. Backwards, all the way to the ground. Good to be alive. Keep going, lunge forward, lunge back. One leg only. I'll turn to the front. This is a 
more impact body exercise. I'm going to start in slow. At the end, I've got a good core finisher for you. It's sure to blast you. Phew. All right, five more seconds. So we're going to get the other leg. Second time through. So we're going back to those burpee jump overs. Second set. And hopefully the fish tacos I ate this afternoon for lunch don't make their way back up. Here, hit it. Down. your own pace. Modify. I don't want to injure you. That's not my goal. Jump. 10 seconds. Don't waste it. Perfect. All right, what's next? drink of water. That's one down. Six more mini workouts to go. Don't really do. Stay with me. Keep moving. Through the breaks, what you want to do is you want to keep yourself moving. So don't stop. We're in the zone. But you can wipe your sweat off your face and grab a quick drink. That's going to drop my garage temperature down two more. Okay. Back. All right, round two. You're going to need your ruck. You can either do this with your rucksack or your backpack, or you can do it without. You can do it from the knees. You can do it from the toes. There's tons of modifications. But let me just give you a quick preview. You're going to go from here. Here, on top of the rucksack, push up. Move it back. Okay, modification. Down there. Nailed it. Here we go. Drop. Walk it over. Walk it over. Now you can go from the knees if you choose. We have two rounds of this, so you decide what you want to do. If you really don't like it, you can push that away. You just do it on the ground, just moving side to side. All right, towel side lunges. You're gonna put this on the ground, put your foot on it, all your weight goes on your opposite leg. You're gonna sink as low as you can and stand up. Here we go, down, up. Feeling the bird in the left glute quad. We're going to try to get 20. There's eight. It's kind of like a skater lunge, but all your weight's off on that right leg. It's a nice straight leg too. And again, try to control that breathing. Five seconds. 
and break. All right, we're gonna do some 180 degree jump squats. So facing this way, down, switch, hand to the ground. Woo. High impact first. Drop down. Low impact next. You step, drop. Now it's a lot, but the time is short. It's only 30 seconds worth. I know you can do it. So do it with me. 10 seconds more. This is bananas. Five seconds. Three, two, one, done. All right. We're going to through that one more time. Starting with the ruck. Push ups. Dare you to challenge yourself a little bit. Just a little bit. Here we go. Draw. Walk it over. Now it's hard to talk and do these at the same time. So just remember form. Neutral spine. Don't arch the back. Keep the core fired up. Each one you do, make it a good one. Alright. Sweet. Alright, we're gonna do towel side lunges on your other leg. So you get your foot on that towel. Make sure again a slippery surface. Drop down. Skater lunge. Side side. Now right after this, you get a nice dinner. I like the four o'clock time slots because I don't have to cook. Whew, perfect. And I can say that I was really exhausted, so I don't have to do dishes. It's also a good thing. Five seconds. Hang there with me. Don't leave. Perfect. All right, challenge here. Jump squats for 30 seconds. No break. See if we can do it. Three, two, go. Boom. Touchdown. Burn off some calories here. Don't think about the strain of your legs. Think about how good you're going to look in those new set of legs <laughs> when you're done. Ten seconds. your backpack. Keep calling it a ruck. Sorry. Backpack. One foot forward. You're going to put all your weight on your front leg. Just your back leg is resting. You can either do just a lunge, but my aim for this one is a jump lunge. All right. We're going five. We're live in five. All right. Drop, jump up. So you're going to really control your balance by making sure your core is turned on. If your core is not engaged, you might feel like you're going all over the place. We don't want that. Keep that leg trying to get right off the ground. It's using the front leg only. Back leg is just lifted as a prop. Five seconds. Holy, you can feel that. Hey, okay. wash the floor. Towel down. Hike position. You're going 
you reach that arm as far as you can forward, all the way to your back, left foot. The right arm, and touch. Wash on the floor. Again, control your breathing. Sets, it feels good. Five seconds. And you know, towels here. Not to use it. Wipe all the eyeliner off your face. Okay, mountain climbers to plank jacks. Four of each. One, two, three, four. Touch the toe out each time. Higher impact. And four jumps out. Again. Up, two, three, four. Jump it out. Ten seconds to go. Run through, switching your legs. On your left, back leg again. <laughs> there we go, core tight. Down and jump it up. Again, all the way down that front leg. Put it as low as you can comfortably without that knee going over the toe. 10 more seconds. There you go. Mountain climbers to pike jacks. Last time for these bad boys. They're moving on. Woo! Alright. I hope you're feeling this as much as I am. intense than today. Thought I'd do the less intense one today. More intense tomorrow, 4 o'clock, and set you up for the weekend. So let me demo this next one. Putting the toes on the rock, on the backpack. So you're going to walk your hands up, and then walk forward. If you don't want to do it on the backpack, you can do it on the stairs. You can do it on the floor. Yeah, you don't need this guy, if you don't have one. Okay, so this is supposed to kind of keep you unbalanced and make the exercise harder. All right, so let's go for it. I'm gonna walk him back. Walk it back out to a full plank. Walk it back up. Back up to a full plank. Yep. 
When you got this, don't stop. Let's do one more. Now stop. Okay, we're going to do towel instead of side lunges. We're doing back lunges. Okay, drop it. Weights on the left leg. All the way down on the floor. All the way back up. Whoop. Drop and lift. I try to go a little faster, only because I'm giving you only 30 seconds to do them. Whoop. My sweat's making the towel sticky. 10 seconds. Come on. Okay. Next one. Low moving squats. We're going to go out, in, out, in. Trying to stay low. Moving forward and back. All right, here we go. In, out. Perfect. You got this. I know you got this. Sometimes our exercising has nothing to do with our fitness and all to do with motivation. That's why I'm here. And if you motivated, and remember, there's other ways of doing these. You can do the low impact style. Modify as you need it. I hate to sound like a broken record, but it's true. All right, back to the toes and the ruck. Walk back. It's last time for these. Make them pretty. All right. Floor, it's the same thing. Excellent job, everyone. Doing amazing. All right, we're gonna lunge back from the other leg. Weight on your front leg. This one's gonna lunge back. All the way down, touch, come back in. Try, if you have one, to use it. 
Hurry, ready, in. Five. Woo. Yes. Here you go, down. Push up. Bring it in wide. Lift it up. That's it. Beautiful. Okay, let's go. on your heels. Scoot your hips through the arms and then lift up. Squeeze the glutes. Scoot and hold. That's it. Scoot and hold. Now if you can't go all the way through the arms, just go in as much as you can. Press up and hold. Beautiful. So those lines drop down. This is a long pack one. Inchworm to a low squat. You're gonna walk it out, walk it back, make a low squat. Hey friends, why do I have so much energy today? I have no idea. Pick up, pump, two legs, one squat. Walk it out, push up, walk it back, and drop down. Down. Nice forearm. That's good. Two. All right, back to the burpee with your backpack. You got this. Little Looney Tunes here in the gradual lines. All right, burpee. Out there. Yeah, it's good. Sweet. All right. Don't leave me yet. We have two more. The next one, the next two are mainly going towards your shredded abs that you're going to have for the summer. I mean, again, like I said earlier on, it's a goal. You've got to have goals. 
So 30 more seconds rest. You're gonna lay on the ground. You're gonna put that backpack on your hips. We're gonna do the glute bridge. You're gonna work on the buns. Buns, glutes. Try not to swear. Okay. Drop down low, put it right here. Walk up, I'm gonna turn around so I can see the timer. And lay down. And you can do this with two legs on the ground. If you want to make it harder, you lift the leg. Okay, I'm gonna stick with the two leg again. Keeping the weight right on the hips. Squeeze it up. Glute bridge here. But you're gonna keep moving. You're not holding it at all. If that weight's not enough for you and you have something else laying around, go ahead and throw another dumbbell or weight plate on top, or you simply just go into a one-legged glute bridge, which doubles it, let me tell you. Switch. All right, grab your towel. Towel twist. You stand on the floor. Towel's like so. There you go. Bye, friend. Okay, lift up. You're gonna touch your hand and elbow down. Here we go. Twist, right, left. Now the feet and knees can move as you're twisting. That's cool. If you really don't like that one, you can put your heels on the ground and just go like this. I've done these before, but kind of with my foot on top. It's all good. Whatever you can handle, side to side. Excellent, three seconds. All right, now this one is my last high impact one. You're gonna walk back, give me a nice plyo tuck jump. Bring out the last little bit of energy that you got with your tuck jump. Okay, low impact, boom, boom, up, drop it down. What I really want, if you can, is up. Bring your elbows or your palms to your knees. one that I have for you. Yes. Woo. Okay. One more time through. Back to that glute bridge. And if you get that right leg, you're switching to the left. And up. Work on the glute. Have a nice river right into your eyeball. It's always a good thing. 10 seconds left. Challenge yourself. Lift up the leg. Try the other side. You'll find it feel a lot more. And draw. All right, back to the towel twist. Okay. Again, you can do it like this, or feet up off the ground. Here we go. Boom. So I hope you guys had a good day today. I know it's supposed to rain tomorrow too. So we'll just do the same thing. Exercise is our friend on a rainy day. Inside, anyways. And 10 more seconds of this. Five. And break. All right, let's do that walk back tuck jump one last time. Okay. And then we do break. Down, down. Up. How high can you get?
Again, this one's focusing on core. The dream of these exercises and these workouts, you know, when I do them, it's like, yeah, yeah, what were you thinking? But it's all good when you're done. It's the last one. And then we're going to stretch. We'll squeeze down. You go have dinner. All right. So, you're going to need to rock twice and your towel. So, first one, you're going to get into right away. You're going to sit down, right on the ground. You're going to hold it straight up over your head, press it up like so. You're going to lift both your feet up to your backpack. You can modify by adding just one leg if you like. So, I want this. Touch down. Try not to touch the floor. And just keep lifting your legs. So your arms stabilizing that weight above your head. Pinning your body down while you're lifting your legs up. Whew. Beautiful. Keep your legs straight. If you don't like that, you can add one leg at a time. Do that. Again, there's not much weight in this backpack, but it's enough just to hold me down. Alright, towel. You're gonna put that between your feet like this. You're gonna do what I call a tick-tock. You can do this with your knees bent, easier, harder. Hands out. Go all the way to one side. Pick it up. Go all the way to the other side. Try not to touch the ground. Easier. Bending the knees side to side. Knees almost to the ground. Try to keep your palms up if you can so you're not gripping something trying to help you lift your legs up. So palms up. A towel just to prop. Keep your feet together. And drop. And your last one, you can put that backpack right on your feet holding your feet down, and now we're going to do as many sit-ups as you can in 30 seconds. Yeah. All right, here we go. Now you can use your arms. You can keep them here if you want to. You can keep them here by your head. This would be harder. And if you're struggling by this point, just getting up, you can use your hands as momentum. Key is just to do what you can and keep moving. Even though this workout's bananas. All right, keep going. Bananas. Okay, back to that. I'm going over this way. Back to that holding it over your head. This is last time through. This little trio. And then it's cool down. Three, two. Lift. And the second time through, you know what you're doing. So you can make it a little more challenging. Don't stop, guys. We got this. We got this. There's only 15 seconds left in this. Oh, yeah. I am feeling that. Woo! Towel twist. Tick tock. Between the feet. Which version are you going to go with? Tall or shorts? Short, tall. A little one side. Take it. Try to keep your feet over the top of your hips. And I'm getting away from the end of your legs over here. Put them right above your hips, side to side, and lift. Yeah. Almost done today. Drop the towel, backpack on your feet, back to the sit-up. Last exercise today. See how many you can get. All right, 30 seconds worth. Let's finish it.
finish it off, guys. You got this. At least I know you have this. 15 seconds. And 10. it up, shake it out, just keep moving, you did amazing. So now what you're going to do is take a second to grab a drink of water, feel good about yourself that you did that workout today with me. So cheers. All right. Well done. All right. Just to stand up for a second. Just keep the arms moving just for a second. Forward and back. And then stretch straight up and then lower down. Straight up and lower down. One more. Okay, now we're going to step the right foot back. Left foot stays straight. Toe lifts up. Drop down. Hold that stretch for a second. Back up, stand up, do the other side. Keep that leg straight. Feel good about yourself. An hour of cardio, it's good stuff. Drop down. I always like it when the workouts are over, even though I enjoy doing them. I feel like you accomplish something, you know, when you're done. You know, you can move on with your day slash evening. Again. Back up. Now we're going to go down on the knees here. Okay, right, we're going to take the right leg out nice and straight. We're going to take that left arm up, that arms on the ground. We're going to reach straight overhead. Try to get a nice long line to your leg, straight up to your side. Extend it right through the arm. Cooling down. And come up here. Let's go over this way. Hold, stretch right through the waistline. Take it back down. We're going to take this leg back. Bring the front leg in like pigeon's pose in yoga. Drop down as low as you can. Elbows go right to the ground. Okay, hold it. Now your hips are pushing down and you're not leaning over onto the side. So hips are both, both hip bones are facing towards the mat. Like so. A couple of deep breaths in and out as you're stretching. We're going to try to really relax and calm your heart rate down. Okay, taking that back leg in towards the front. Right, like so. And then move back. Like so. Okay, into a lunge stretch. So lunge into it. And take your hands down here. Now let's take the back toe up. Lift up the back knee. Take the inside arm and open it up. Just like that. Just like that. Back down. Okay, you're facing this way. Now you're going to lean back, lift up the toe. Do a bit of a stretch in the hamstring. Now, if this one is too easy for you, then you can do it standing which would look like that. Four, three, two, one. Drop the knee, come back in. All right, we're gonna take the other leg out straight. Center yourself, make sure you're not twisted or turned. All right, go off to the side. Take your arm, go straight over, watch your line. Right from the fingers, right straight down the body, all the way to the toes. Reach as far as you can over the head. And reach over. Don't skip your stretches, everyone. Stick with me. Only got a few minutes left. Four, three, two, one, and down. Now this leg goes behind you. Like so, into a pigeon's pose. Toe turned out, drop the knee down, hips are down. If you want to stay here, that's cool. 
If not, you're going to go nice and low, hunch your elbows. You can either put your head down if you like, and hold nice and really in the hip joint area and the glutes and whatnot is where you're going to feel this one the most. We're going to hold it again for another four, three, two, one, come back up. Okay, we're going to take that back leg in front into a lunge stretch. Yeah. Yeah, because that's going to go down. All right, here, here. <sighs> okay, lift the knee up and then rotate that opposite arm. And back. Drop the knee, your choice of hamstring stretch. You can do this one or you can stand up. I'll show you from the side. One, or that one. Hold in four, three, two, one, drop. Now we're going to stand up, face the center. All right, let's take one arm up, drop the other one down. Try and grab your ankle. Look to the ceiling, open up the chest, palms facing forward, and back up, slide the other arm up and over, drop this arm down, same thing other side, hollow again, grab the ankle, open up the chest, look up, come all the way up, lift, exhale down, Hands on the knees, if you please. All right, elbow is straight, shoulder down towards the knee. Hopefully your heart rate is starting to lower it down or slow down, I mean, other side. Right back up. Take your arms out, give me a deep breath in, and go right through your center, exhale out. Now let's step together. All right, let's take it out. Take a deep breath in, and exhale down. And just to really make sure that your heart rate is down and it's not high, we're gonna do that one last time. Take it out, deep breath in, Lift up, and exhale, right through the center. All right, killer job today, everyone, and thanks for joining me. Um, please join me tomorrow at 4 o'clock, and I'll be teaching you another power hour class, and I'd love to have you join me uh, for another class. So hopefully you had a good workout today. Um, feel free to write any comments down, any questions that you have. Danielle will take over, and she will answer them all for you. Until then, until tomorrow, take care everyone, bye.